আসসালামু আলাইকুম সুধী দর্শক স্বাগত জানাচ্ছি আমাদের আজকের ইও ফাইন্যান্স উইথ মহিম তানজিবে আমি পেশা একজন রেগুলেটর ফাইন্যান্সিয়াল অ্যাডভাইজার উইথ এক্সপার্টিজ ইন রিটায়ারমেন্ট প্ল্যানিং ইনভেস্টমেন্ট প্ল্যানিং এন্ড মর্গেজেস উই হ্যাভ এ স্পেশাল গেস্ট উইথ আস হিজ নেম ইজ সাজ হোসেন সাজ নিজ নো ইন্ট্রোডাকশন প্রপার্টি ইনভেস্টার্স এন্টারপ্রেনার্স আপ অ্যান্ড ডাউন দ্য কান্ট্রি Uh, knows him uh, and he's uh, well respected in the community saj has trained thousands of uh, students uh, from across the country helped them uh, in their property investment journey uh, make them financially uh, help them becoming financially free uh, also becoming some becoming property millionaires saj welcome to the show thank you so much thank you for inviting me thank you uh, we also have with us a familiar face shoeb nobi uh, shoeb is a mortgage advisor he's been uh, in the show in, in in the previous episodes uh, shoeb uh, is a mortgage advisor a specialist in all types of residential and commercial mortgages shoeb welcome to the show thank you mr as the saying goes uh, an investment in knowledge pays the best return ekhane gyan arjuner proti gurutwo deya hoyeche amader dhorme o ache gyan arjuner jonno joto dure paro jao প্রয়োজন হলে চীন দেশে যাও জানার যেমন শেষ নেই শেখারও তেমন কোনো বয়স নেই আমরা যে কোনো বয়সে জানতে অথবা শিখতে পারি ইয়োর ফাইন্যান্স উইথ মহিম তানজীবের উদ্দেশ্যই হচ্ছে আমাদের দর্শকদের বিভিন্ন ফাইন্যান্সিয়াল পার্সোনাল ফাইন্যান্সিয়াল বিষয়ে তুলে ধরা তাদেরকে জানানো যাতে তাদের পথ চলায় সহায়তা হয় আমাদের এই অনুষ্ঠানের উদ্দেশ্যই হচ্ছে দর্শকদের সেই বিষয়ে অবগত রাখা আপডেট রাখা প্রথমে একটা কথা জানিয়ে দিতে চাই লাইফ টিভিতে ফাইন্যান্সিয়াল অ্যাডভাইস দেওয়ার কোনো স্কোপ নেই সুতরাং এই অনুষ্ঠানে যে সমস্ত তথ্য আপনারা জানতে পারবেন সেগুলোকে শুধু তথ্য হিসাবে নেবেন অ্যাডভাইস হিসাবে নয় প্রতিবারের মতোই এইবারও আপনারা কল করে আমাদের সাথে কথা বলতে পারেন আপনাদের কোনো ফাইন্যান্সিয়াল বিষয়ে অথবা আপনারা হোয়াটসঅ্যাপের মাধ্যমে মেসেজ পাঠাতে পারেন আমাদেরকে তো আর দেরি নয় শুরুতেই জানিয়ে দিচ্ছি কী কী থাকছে আমাদের এই অনুষ্ঠানে আমাদের প্রপার্টি এক্সপার্টের সাথে আমরা কথা বলবো আমাদের আজকের এপিসোড হচ্ছে ইনভেস্টিং ইন প্রপার্টি সাজ হুসে হুসেন এ বিষয়ে আমাদেরকে জানাবেন তিনি কি ভাবছেন উইল টাপ ইন টু হিজ এক্সপিরিয়েন্স অ্যান্ড এক্সপার্টিজ উইল অলসো গেট এ মর্গেজ মার্কেট আপডেট ফ্রম শুয়েব অবভিয়াসলি আমরা গত পর্বে যেরকম আপনাদেরকে প্রমিস করেছিলাম আমরা খেয়াল রাখব মার্কেটে কি হচ্ছে না হচ্ছে সেই সমস্ত আপডেট আমরা আপনাদের জন্য নিয়ে আসবো এছাড়া আপনারা যদি কল করেন আপনাদের কোনো কোয়েশ্চেন থাকে মর্গেজ রিলেটেড অথবা পার্সোনাল ফাইন্যান্স রিলেটেড সে সেগুলো তো থাকছেই তবে আর দেরি নয় লেস গো ইন টু ইউনো আস্কিং কোয়েশ্চেন টু আওয়ার গেস্ট ফার্স্ট সাজ এজ আই ওয়াজ মেনশনিং অবভিয়াসলি ইউ আর রেসপেক্টেড অ্যান্ড লাভ বাই প্রপার্টি ইনভেস্টার্স অল অ্যাক্রস দ্য কান্ট্রি কান্ট্রি ইউ হ্যাভ হ্যাভ ম্যানি পিপুল um and when i was thinking what uh, question i should ask you uh, literally hundreds of questions kept popping in my mind um i was struggling to select the question but i i guess first um i will start with um what attracted uh, you into uh, real and uh, estate investment and how did you get started in property um i think uh Uh, in the asian community buying property is a very uh, very common thing to do and it's That's encouraged true. at a young age even but i didn't do any of that okay. um i i left university started my own business in it i ran an it company for about 14 years okay and uh until over time i did very well out of that made some very good money but then i also ended up making some stupid decisions and in the end that all came tumbling down and and kind of lost everything so i started uh, again i wanted to create something that would the uh, how it last me would be uh, would be generational or could be passive could be asset based and it just coming back coming back to property is the way to do that okay so yeah i mean you know every successful entrepreneur has many success and failures so you know you tried it tried other yes. business but didn't uh, and then uh, you, you know you came uh, across you know you wanted an asset based business yes. that obviously so and plus traditionally obviously we agents <laughs> have yeah. very close link with properties so so that's that's all uh, all good thank you for that uh, so the next question i guess would be obviously uh, to ask you uh, can you sh- share some insights into the current trends and opportunities that you see obviously we're going through lots of ups and downs yes, you know there are no are. Uh, shortage of uh, volatility in the market so how yes. what what kind of opportunity uh, or or, or uh, you know trends that you can see in the market yeah. that you can share with us i think something i uh, learned very early in the property market is the only certainty is constant change 
yeah. meaning that you can't really plan too far ahead because things are changing all the time. And there's many factors that affect the property market, finance clearly, the government of the day, what their desires and opinions are, and you know affordability. There's so many different things. And we're in a unique place where, for example, you know, in, in the UK, there's this fascination for buying property and investing, yes. which doesn't really exist so much in National Europe. National homeowners, as anyway. they say. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it is. And <coughs> there's this huge fascination for property. Just when you look at TV channels, there's so many property programs yeah. on. So we always have this desire for property. But uh, the two main ways people think about property is you either purchase it and rent it out and you collect an income, or you purchase it, improve it, add some value and sell it. They're really the two ways people tend to think about property. But actually, it's important to think about the context of what he says, what's happening right now, where, what's going on in the market. Well, right now, things are slowing down. If we think uh, maybe, maybe two years ago from now, if a property came up for sale, you see the estate agent puts a for sale sign outside, and you think, oh, that's quite interesting. I'll give them a call. Mm, yes. You ring them three or four hours later and say, no, 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 that's sold. Or we had offers over the asking price. Or there's 10 people waiting outside to view mm. it. But that isn't the case today. No. That's changed. So the demand is changing slowly, which ultimately impacts the prices. So what that means is there's more attractive deals and opportunities that exist right now. Sorry, we got that a didn't caller on the ago. line. Sorry to interrupt sure, you. Sure, that's fine. Yes, uh, please go ahead, caller. Hello. Do you call in, caller? Hi. Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Yes, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. আমি আমার নাম আসলে সালাম আমি বলছিলাম ওয়েস্ট লন্ডন থেকে জি বলেন আমি আমার নাম সালাম ওয়েস্ট লন্ডনতে বলছিলাম জি বলেন সালাম ভাই আমি থাকি হাউজিং অ্যাসোসিয়েশনের একটা বাড়িতে জি অবশ্যই প্রায় 20 বছর হয়ে গেছে আচ্ছা তো আমি চাচ্ছিলাম যে লন্ডনের বাইরে তো আমি হাউজিং অ্যাসোসিয়েশনে আসলে বাড়ি টাইম কিনতে চাচ্ছিলাম कत माइल कमी प्रपार्टी तो আসলে আমরা বলে দিতে পারবো না যে ফিফটি মাইলের ভেতরে কিনেন অথবা বাইরে কিনেন ঠিক আছে তো আপনাকে আসলে ওই তাদের টার্মস অ্যান্ড কন্ডিশনসগুলো দেখতে হবে প্রয়োজনে আপনি তাদের সাথে কনসাল্ট করতে পারেন বাট জেনারেলি আমি শুধু এটা আপনাকে বলতে পারি যে আপনি যেখানে থাকেন এটার খুব কাছাকাছি যদি আপনি আর একটা বাই টুলেট কিনেন তাইলে মানে ওদের ইনো আপত্তি থাকতে পারে থাকবার কথা ঠিক আছে তো আপনি ভালো হবে তাদের টার্মস অ্যান্ড কন্ডিশনসগুলো ভালো করে পড়েন অথবা তাদের সাথেই কথা বললেন আপনি তো কোয়েশ্চেন করলে তো কোনো সমস্যা নাই আপনি তাদেরকে কোয়েশ্চেনটা করেন আশা করি বুঝতে পারছেন আমার উত্তরটা তাই না থ্যাংক ইউ ভাইয়া থ্যাংক ইউ কল করবেন এবং দেখতে থাকুন ওই হ্যাভ এনাদার কলা ইয়াস প্লিজ কলা গো হেড ওয়ালাইকুম আসসালাম জি ভাই ভালো আছি কে বলছেন জি বলেন আপনার প্রশ্নটা বললেন बाधकता <laughs> আর আর একটা কোশ্চেন করছেন আপনি ইনকাম কত থাকত ইবো ডিপোজিট কত দিত ইবো এটা 25% ডিপোজিট যদি আপনি দিতে পারেন তাইলে আপনি বাই টু লেট প্রপার্টি কিনলি তা পারবা খালি খেয়াল রাখবা যে রেন্টাল ইনকাম যেটা এটা যেন হাই এনাফ ওয়ে টু কভার দা মর্গেজ ক্লিয়ার করে বুঝাইতাম ফাললাম কিনা ভাই রেন্টাল ইনকাম কত হইলা এনাফ থাকত ইবো টু কভার দা মর্গেজ প্লাস এক্সট্রা 25 ও 45% 
তাকতো ইবো সমন খরোকা যদি আপনার রেন্টাল ইনকাম ও হাজার পাউন্ড হ্যাঁ ই গড় এক হাজার পাউন্ড যদি রেন্টাল ইনকাম ওতে আপনার মর্গেজ ওই তো ইবো সেভেন ফিফটি বা আপনার ফাইভ হান্ড্রেড বা এ ন সিক্স হান্ড্রেড ওলা বুঝছেন নি সো এক্সট্রা মর্গেজ যে পেমেন্ট আপনার ইগোর টোয়েন্টি ফাইভ পার্সেন্ট বা ফোর্টি ফাইভ পার্সেন্ট এডিশনাল থাকতো ইবো আপনার রেন্টাল ইনকাম এক্সপিরিয়েন্স লোড ওইন যদি আপনার মাল্টিপল প্রপার্টি থাকে তে অনেক সময় আপনার টোয়েন্টি পার্সেন্ট বা ফিফটিন পার্সেন্ট ডিপোজিটেও হয় ঠিক আছে কিন্তু আপনি এক্সপিরিয়েন্স ল্যান্ডলোড হইতো ইবা ফার্স্ট টাইম ল্যান্ডলোড হইলে আপনি কিনতে পারত নাই টোয়েন্টি ফাইভ পার্সেন্টের কমে থ্যাংক ইউ ভাই থ্যাংক ইউ কল করো কা দেখ ওকে উই হ্যাভ এন আদার কল ইয়ে প্লিজ কল আ গো হেড হ্যালো কল ইয়েস আসসালামু আলাইকুম জি ওয়ালাইকুম সালাম ভাই কে কইডা property residential um you will need a deposit to start off with but best thing to do is contact myself for one of the brokers after the show and then they can go through your details and see what's the best way for you to get onto the market yes yeah you can leave your uh, uh, name and number or you know send us I message mean, you make it sound very like it's very easy to do is it is it so easy like this it's very easy depending on your circumstance but every person's circumstance is different So depending on your circumstances we will guide you on how you could get ready to get on the property market. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Colin. Okay. Thank, thank you, Dr. Swain. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. All right, so I I guess uh, the question I was asking so, sorry to interrupt again That's such fine. um you were talking about trends and opportunities mm. in the current market. Yeah, I think essentially the market is softer now. Yeah. There's more opportunities that exist and I've been in property business nearly 18 years now. and i think the last time we saw opportunities this good is maybe 2008 i see and i don't think we'll see them again for a long time i think maybe we have another year like this and the market will change that's my personal opinion none of us have a crystal ball so we don't know for sure and of course we've got an election possibly later this year as well all these things will probably yeah. impact the market so yeah. now's a fantastic time to buy even the last caller is thinking about okay how do i start in yeah. property and from a non finance point of view as long as you have the intention and desire to start it's case of, okay how can i well what do we need to do we need to find a property that the rental works well mm-hmm. as you uh, i didn't fully understand everything yeah, you said but i think i caught along the gist, line yes actually just yeah. of what you were saying that you know your income need the income from the property needs to be certain amount yeah. to be able to pay the mortgage and left with a sufficient profit yeah. that gives the lender some comfort and so what they're going to do the lender wants to see well you are credit worthy that you know you've got good credit yeah. history you um, yeah I, i guess we can sorry we can uh, sorry to interrupt again sure. yeah we can have a quick call i guess uh, yes caller বাড়া দিলাই না নি তো যেটা বাড়া দিলে সেটা বাইট লেট করে লিবা অসুবিধা নাই আপনি আপনার ডিটেইলস চাইলে পাঠাইতা পারো আমার নাম্বারও আমি আপনার এক মর্গেজ ব্রোকার লগে কানেক্ট করে দিই মনে হয়তো হেল্প করতে পারবা অথবা আপনি আপনার লোকাল কোন খানো যদি মর্গেজ ব্রোকার ফাইন ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট কি আপনার হেল্প করতে পারবো এই বিষয়ে थैंक यू কলা ওকে অল রাইট थैंक यू জি ওকে অ্যানাদার কল ওকে ইয়েস গো হেড ইয়া হ্যালো আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়া আলাইকুম আসসালাম Um, but I have a question for a first-time buyer. Yes, go ahead. The question is, 
is it possible to get a mortgage with a loan from banks? So, for example, if you don't have a deposit saved up by yourself, yeah, but you get a loan from the bank or a friend borrows you the money, for example, yeah. um, is it possible to get a mortgage? Yes, like it's, it's, it's possible. I'm going to let uh, Shuaib elaborate on this once I finish uh, my uh, question to Saj. But thank you, uh, my dear brother, for, for your call. And we'll get okay. to your answer shortly. Keep watching the show. Okay. Is that okay? Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Sorry, uh, Saj. Uh, that's fine. I mean, this is the yeah. advantage of a live yes. show, right? So people who <laughs> ring in and ask questions, that's what we want them to do. Yeah. And I guess even the last caller is on the same mindset of, okay, you know, we need to buy property, but how do we how do, we do that? So your lender's going to have certain requirements. They're going to want to make sure that if they borrow you money, you're going to pay back. How do they do that? They look at your credit file and say, what's your history like? Have you got a habit of paying things back on time? And you know, how much deposit of money are you going to put in? Why should the bank take all the risk and put the money? We want to see you've put in some money That's in. It, yeah. And as you said, there might be some other ways as well, yeah. maybe some gifted deposits and other things that possibly uh, could work. But just by thinking about how can we take advantage mm -hmm. of the opportunities, if we look back now to 2007, 8, 9, when the market was much softer, there were some very good opportunities. Yeah. But if we knew that then, many of us would have found yeah. ways on how can we buy two, three, four properties. Yeah. But we didn't know then, there was uncertainty, there was fear in the market. And to some extent, we still have some uncertainty mm. now. But I promise you, in five years and 10 years, when you look back, you'll think, actually, that was a good time to buy. I see, yeah, yeah. And so how do we take advantage of that? And even if you, you don't have the, the money, the deposit, you can partner with somebody else that has, yeah. or you find the right property. So for example, you know, let, let, using some simple numbers, let's say it's a 100,000 pound property, mm -hmm. and I know in London, you can't buy very much for 100,000, yeah, yeah. but using some simple numbers, let's say it's a 100,000 pound property, but you negotiate the deal, you buy it, say it's 75,000 mm -hmm. pounds or 80,000 pounds. Well, even if you borrow the money from friends, family to do that, and you yeah. purchase it outright, you could refinance it in six months time mm. uh, for the full value, 100,000, yeah. and you get all that money back out. Thank you. you know, if you're using bank finance, that's one way to do it. Yeah. So it's using the skill yeah. of finding opportunities, negotiating it, yeah. and utilizing the current market. That's it, no, thank you so much for answering. So that leads me nicely to the next question, uh, uh, Shweb, or the caller that the question was asking. Uh, uh, you know, he was asking, can you borrow from friends, family, or uh, other sources, use that as a deposit and get the rest in mortgages? Yes, so we do have lenders that will accept um, loans as a deposit. Now, mostly people think deposit as either saving money up or gifting from the family, but a lot of lenders will accept if you do have a loan from either someone you know personally, or if you have a business loan, or if you have a loan even let's say from a normal bank yeah. um, the only issue with that is we have to make sure it would be affordable so yeah. if somebody is buying on a residential property we will make sure that they can afford the residential or payment investment property, yeah. or investment whether the rental will cover both the payments if the rental can cover the loan payment and your mortgage that is one way to get 100 percent ltv fantastic sorry i've been told three four times that three four callers if anybody's waiting now i can um, we can go to a call or we can go to the next question to our expert. Um, ji, hello, caller. Hello. Assalamu alaikum, ji. How can I help? Assalamu alaikum. I'm a lighter than Ji, Ji, I'm a lighter than Ji, I'm a limited company. I'm a client. 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 I'm a Property business, I'm a equity. That's fine. Money at the company account, I'm a tackle to come up cheap or at amount fully. I'm a investment. I'm a person to the set out today. The disorder in future, I can use the tackle with two for it. Don't hundred thousand as on a share below. This is hundred thousand would do for a share the party in the tax. The needle don't know. They take it in the party. I'm a director, partner of the city of Colo and Amia business business. I'm an investor and hundred thousand. Yeah. Yeah. I am direct. I am just buying a kilo share. I am hundred thousand. I am direct. I am a company. Take a a part. Booster version. Yeah. So this is actually two three things. Bush. Ah, our booster. Have. Ah, our limited company form. Course. Then, a company. Take. Ah, our individually. Take. Ah, take. Then. So, this is actually. Ah, our. So, director mm -hmm. loan is a very good thing. So, the 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 
তো এখন এই যে এই যে লিমিট এই যে ব্যাংক অ্যাকাউন্টে যে টাকাটা জমা হচ্ছে এটা কি এই টাকাটা কি এইচএমআরসি এর কাছে আমার যে সেভিংস হিসেবে অ্যাকাউন্ট মানে ই হবে না জিনিসটা না এই বিষয়ে ভাইয়া আপনি বেস্ট হবে আপনি আপনার অ্যাকাউন্ট্যান্ট কে এই বিষয়ে আপডেট আপ টু ডেট রাখেন কারণ পয়সা যদি আপনি বেশি দিন অ্যাকাউন্ট ব্যাংকে ফালায় রাখেন ওই লিমিটেড কোম্পানিতে ওইটা অনেক জায়গায় নোটিফাই করতে হয় এইচএমআরসিতে নোটিফাই করতে হয় বা কোম্পানি হাউসে রিপোর্ট দিতে হয় বুঝছেন তো ওই ব্যাপারে আপনি অ্যাকাউন্টেন্টের সাথে আপনার কথা বললেন ঠিক আছে বাট জেনারেলি আমি এটা আনসার আপনাকে এইভাবে দিতে পারি যে যদি আপনি লিমিটেড কোম্পানিতে পয়সা রাখেন এটা ডাইরেক্টের লোন হিসাবে রাখছেন ওইটা আপনি উইড্র করে আপনি যা আপনার পয়সা আপনি রাখছেন আবার আপনি উইড্র করলেন এইটা করতে পারেন যদি কোম্পানির প্রফিট হয় সেটা আপনাকে ডিভিডেন্ট হিসাবে বের করতে হবে বাট বেশি দিন যদি আবার থাকে ধরেন এক বছরের উপরে যদি থাকে ওইটা আপনার অ্যাকাউন্টেন্ট ডেফিনেটলি আপনাকে অ্যাডভাইস করবে রিপোর্ট করার জন্য ঠিক আছে সো আপনি অ্যাকাউন্টেন্টের সাথে কথা বলে নেবে পারে আমরা তো ধরেন ইয়ারলি একটা ফাইল করি না ইয়ারলি তো আমরা ফাইল সাবমিট করি জি হ্যাঁ আমাদের এখনো ডিভিডেন্ট হয়নি আমরা ইয়ারলি তো ফাইল সাবমিট করি আচ্ছা তাহলে এটা শুধু লোনই আছে আপনাদের লোন দিবেন এই কোম্পানিকে আপনাদের কোম্পানি হ্যাঁ মানে ধরেন আমরা পাঁচজন মিলে আমরা লিমিটেড কোম্পানিতে আমরা মানে মেইনলি বুঝতে পারছেন ব্যাপারটা যে আমরা যখন বুঝতে পারছেন আপনি হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ আমি ক্লিয়ার যখন বড় একটা अमाउंट হবে তখন হয়তো আমরা একটা প্রপার্টি কিনব প্রপার্টি কিনবেন হ্যাঁ বা ইতিমধ্যে হ্যাঁ যে ইতিমধ্যে যদি আপনারা উইড্র করতে চান পারবেন কি না আনসার ইজ ইয়েস আপনারা পারবেন কিন্তু যদি এটা বেশি দিন থাকে অ্যাকাউন্টে ওইটা মানে আপনার অ্যাকাউন্টেন্ট আপনাকে এ ব্যাপারে অ্যাডভাইস করবে যে এটা কিভাবে সে রিপোর্ট করবে বা কিভাবে সে এটা দেখাবে আর কি ঠিক আছে জি কথা জি আচ্ছা এনা দ্য কল ওকে উইল হ্যাভ এনা দ্য কুইক কল গো এড জি আসসালামু আলাইকুম জি কলার জি আচ্ছা আই থিঙ্ক ইয়ে উই উই লস দ্য কলার সো আই থিঙ্ক ইয়ে উই উই ডোন্ট হ্যাভ মাস টাইম জি জি সো অবভিয়াসলি বিজনেসেস আর নট উইদাউট রিস্ক এনি বিজনেস ইজ উইথ সো ইজ প্রপার্টি বিজনেস হাই গ্যাস ইউ নো ইউ হ্যাভ সো হাউ ডু ইউ ম্যানেজ দোজ রিস হোয়াট অ্যাপ্রোচ ডু ইউ টেক ইন প্রপার্টি বিজনেস Uh, or or your in your investment uh, you know strategy uh, you're absolutely right in all business there's risk yeah. and risk in everything that we do but it's about risk mitigation how can you balance that with risk when you're younger and you're getting started you can take big risks uh, and have uh, smaller amounts of money or you take bigger risks with bigger amounts of money but when you st- become more experienced you take uh, smaller risks with that uh, money so it depends where you are in your investing stage and investing career uh, as well but just like with any business you can lose huge amounts of money as yes, well in yeah. in property if you make the mistakes there's so many people that will get their fingers a uh, fingers burnt so for us what we try and do is use tried and testing strategies which we know are solid we build slowly rather than rush try to build a, an empire overnight that tends to be the approach that we tend to take sorry okay yeah, thank you uh, and obviously uh, you know in property we see here the success stories but obviously we also see sometime you know yes. someone invested in property huge amount of money but then uh, yeah, we probably all know friends yeah, family yeah. someone that's lost money in property so you have to go for a quick break to break e jar age je rokom bolchilam we were talking about uh, investing in properties and you know tapping into saj's expertise uh, talking about risk management before i come back to saj i want to ask our uh, mortgage advisor shoaib nobi to give us a mortgage market update what happened in the property mortgage market in the last two weeks or last couple of um, weeks if you could please yeah yeah so last few weeks we did see a lot of lenders lower the rates mm-hmm. until we had the announcement on Thursday so when the base, uh, bank of england announced that the base rate would stay at 5.25 it did put a lot of people in shock because a lot of people were expecting it to go down what was more shocking that two of the npcs actually voted for to for it to go up so when and then I saw came that it might go up as well mm-hmm. it kind of put a lot of lenders coming back so we now <laughs> we see a lot of the rates jumping up jumping down and it's caused a lot of uncertainty in the market now the prediction is quarter 3 we are looking at inflation to go to 2% but they are expecting it to be very temporary and then go back up so at the moment is very temporary a lot of lenders are increasing rates as okay. well as decreasing uh, for example Santander's gone up again I where see. some are going lower and um, so w- with the uncertain market at the moment however many people ask the question is there a good time to buy 
and the answer is there's always a good plan to yeah, exactly yeah now thank you Shoaib. thanks for the update so doshok jerokom dekhchilen market kintu volatile amra goto saptahe bolechilam je lender ra competition korteche ekjon arekjoner sathe rate kibhabe kata jay kibhabe komano jay ei saptahe eshe dekha gelo je rate jerokom predict hocchilo je kome jabe ei saptahe kintu kome ni uh, so until uh, the next meeting for the uh, you know mpc uh, monetary policy committee uh, amra jani na ki hobe uh, emono dekha jacche je uh, some of the lenders are increasing their rate uh, even though slightly so dekhte thakun amader onushthan asha kori obosshoi apnader ke jokhoni ja hobe amra live update apnader jonno niye ashbo i just hope that it doesn't become like how it was remember when the rate was 1% yes. uh, or mm. or below slightly below we were telling our clients oh it's not a practical rate yes. you know it's going to go up um, you know very soon and what happened rate kept going down yes. <laughs> i just hope it doesn't happen that you know rate keeps going up now <laughs> sorry we have a caller uh, waiting for a long time on the line assalamu alaikum caller assalamu alaikum wa alaikum uh, assalam शप Uh, you know maximum terms uh, how long does it take etc yeah so as the brother asked uh, with the bridge new loan it is possible to get it on commercial properties as well um loan to value is maximum does vary depending on what type of business it is what kind of history that the person themselves have um some lenders go on 80 90% but with the commercial it's mostly lower near the 70 75% mark uh, but if they give us a call later on we could look at the personal criteria and give them the best rates available of course so doshok jela shoeb khoila je bridging loan commercial property lagilo a jay bridging loan as a general uh, you know you can get up to you know 85 90% even but it depends kore apnar uh, situation or roof re uh, property roof re customer or profile or roof re air for evaluation or roof re or tar roof re so apne jodi ekjon independent broker loge jogajog koroin apne jodi sign amra number o apnar details rakhta parba whatsapp message pataita parba amra connect kore dimu apnar loge ba depend kore ar ki tara apnar assess koriya shokolta koi ba je what's the maximum possible thik ache nani okay thank you thank, thank you bye thanks for your call uh, next call so we have another caller on the line assalamu alaikum Hello caller. The if you mute your TV or turn your uh, turn volume down on your TV then speak to us please. Hello. Ji ji acha we probably have lost the caller. So such my next question to you would be uh, like I said I have hundreds of questions to ask you. I don't think the time would allow us but um obviously you teach people how to source deal and you know uh, how to identify so how do you uh, what factor should a property investor consider when identifying a potential investment mm -hmm. properties um and is there any specific region you personally yeah. prefer to invest or that's a really good question and something i think many people don't really think about yeah. because i think really there's only three ways to make money my view is you either make money from cash flow each month you're creating some income and for us high income would be uh, for example hmos airbnb type model short stay or what you're doing is you're you're flipping the property and extracting cash one time so you're making one time property basically you're buying you're renovating and you're selling and you then the, you take the profit and that's it or the third one is you're building equity for the long term which is what many people in our community do by accident yeah. and many of our parents generation did they bought the property with that it will create some income it's a good asset and they were right in that sense and they were very hard to do that and those property were significantly more so even today a 100000 pound property or a million pound property our expectation is we don't know for sure that it will be worth significantly more in years yeah. to come so before we start thinking about investing we think about which of those three criteria we're trying to fit into mm. so for example if you're trying to leave your job and build income from property then there's no point building equity because how are you going to feed yourself <laughs> cash so flows. we need to look at cash flow yeah. so depending on what type of thing you need what uh, and this is the thing i think not enough people 
think about, which is the right strategy, before they go and find, okay, are they going to be flipping property, are they going to be developing, building, is it going to be HMOs, more creative type strategies. There's many, many different ways to make money from property. But by understanding which of those three buckets, mm -hmm. if you like, is more suited to them, okay. then they think about the strategies which are going to be best for them in that situation. Brilliant, thank you. So that leads me to my next question. Obviously, I think you briefly touched on when we were talking about risk management, but um, obviously no business is without challenges. Yes. And in, as a property investor, you face a lot of challenges. So what are the challenges you know, investors should be aware of or how do you mitigate them or overcome those challenges? Yeah. So I think one of the things we talked about earlier is that there's always some risk. And in property, I think the most common mistakes people make is they underestimate how long it will take to complete some works and how much it will cost. Often it ends up costing way more and taking much longer um, in terms of complete those projects. So being realistic with the, uh, the numbers that we, yeah. we have. And then when we enlist the help of other people, uh, so for example, financial advisors, architects, builders, you know, whoever we involve within our business, because these are all experts that we rely on, is pick people that have a good track record. We have another Absolutely. Call us. Sorry to Absolutely. Uh, yes, call us. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Dear, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Why I want to question is that our two as a buy to let flat are another house as it. So I mean another flat in the city. So deposit ko to dewa lagu bhai. Acha deposit generally sister after twenty five percent dilay after lagi balo ibo. Uh, after a good rate, five bar of basis with it, the of basis valuable, but mini, as a minimum, after 15 or 20% delivery. Hello? Uh, hello, Hunda, 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 the Tarafna Robala Hori, SS Korea Shoda Huita for Bafne Sile, Afna details Rakta for Bato, a message for Tata for Bam Ragose, Amra Chester for Mofna help for Bartikas and any. The another call? Okay, let's go to another caller and then we'll go back to Saj. Assalamu alaikum. The Assalamu alaikum. The caller Bolin. Yeah, hi, I've got a query. Um, so I'm a first time buyer, I'm going with my sister. Um, I'm in the process of buying a property, but I need a, a good mortgage broker and solicitor. Okay. Do you, know, do you have anybody in mind? Okay, if you leave your details uh, at the studio or message us, we might be able to get you in touch with someone. But uh, yeah, uh, keep watching the show, uh, dear brother and inshallah you know we'll, we'll, provi we'll be providing you with lots of information that will be useful for your uh, property journey so uh, uh Saj, sorry we're talking about challenges yes and uh, you know how to overcome those challenges and having the right people around us talking about yeah. so for example we're just talking about uh, mortgage brokers now so i could go to my bank and ask for finance there but what they're going to offer me is only what they can offer me so if i actually go to somebody that's whole of market yes and that's independent, at least they're going to give me more impartial advice in terms of what might be suited. So, uh, you know, if I'm going to use a solicitor, well, why not ask other people and maybe use somebody yes. to be able to get uh, some advice? Are they going to be suitable for the type of transaction that's that I'm doing as well? So I think having the right people around us yeah. uh, helps a lot. The most common uh, failure point, if you like, often is builders and tradespeople that we fall out with and uh, don't have a relationship with. And sometimes that can be miscommunication about yeah. what we want, our expectations how we communicate that to the other side in terms of what they yeah. assume that we are trying to do with the, uh, with the property. Um, and you know, property investing as a model is, uh, is very simple. You purchase something, you add value and sell it, or you rent it to somebody and collect rent. That's it. That's it yeah. However, it's not easy. It's not. <laughs> Meaning there's so many challenges yeah. that you will potentially face, but it's the perseverance, it's the people that push through yeah. and deal with those challenges they're the ones that benefit from the big rewards that are possible in property. Perseverance and uh, do your research. Don't think that it's going to be a plain sailing. 100%. Um, you know, get, you, you'd, you'd have to prepare to get your hands dirty, right? Yes. Um, because traditionally, you know, we used to think, you know, 10, 15 years ago, um, I'll buy properties and then I'll collect the rent and yes. that's it. 
you know what condition of the property quality you know yes. uh, so just so just to yeah. add to that there's yeah. so many landlords i meet these days or have conversation with people that are looking purchase property from a landlord they've been a landlord maybe 20 years but they haven't got all their certificates in order their I tenants see. not paying rent they can't evict them they've got issues with the council because they haven't looked after the property we're really because we're not treating it as a business what we're doing is we're milking it for money every month yeah. but what we're not doing is putting it back if it's a business if it was a restaurant or a shop we would invest back in that we would look after that because that's yeah. what the rewards us but when we unfortunately when we see for example tenants take advantage of a landlord often it's the landlord's mistake yes they they're not doing their part of the deal yeah. and but it's important we understand the operating environment that we work in if we're a landlord what is it that we need to comply? There's over a hundred regulations that we need to be aware of as a landlord, and many, many people aren't. That's the, yeah. And that leads me to my next question, actually. Uh, as you mentioned, there are so many uh, certifications, licensing, yes. uh, you know, there that didn't exist five, ten years ago. Yes. So, how do you, you know, stay informed yeah. uh, about the re regulations? So, how to stay informed about changes in property? regulations and market dynamics and uh, how does this information uh, influence investment decisions for example um, so again depend on what type of strategy yeah. we follow yeah. we need to be aware of what's going on in our environment in any other business we were running we would understand you know who our clients are you know who our suppliers are how the market works in property we need to be doing the same thing we need that awareness so for example if we're going to manage property ourselves yeah then where are we getting the information from the regulation? Yeah. From our mate that we met at the takeaway or you know, where, where are we getting the information from? Reliable information. We need to go yeah. to a professional. And so really in this country, one of the main ones, the National uh, Residential Landlords Association, you could subscribe as a member, you can get regular updates, you can get up-to-date contracts. Or the best thing to do is you give the management to somebody else. Yes. Because management even is a skill if it's done correctly yeah, yeah. and often you know we in our community we like it to get a good deal that's so true. what do we do we find the person's the cheapest <laughs> if someone's the cheapest that means they're Cheap cutting their reason. service yeah, yeah. to make yeah. uh, to make a profit and deliver a service yeah. you have to find somebody that's good that understands that has a track record they won't be the cheapest but they will look after your most valuable asset yeah so yeah that's that's so true i mean um, education research you have to treat it like a business yes. exactly what you said it's not just uh, you know that's it the keys yeah. gone to the those, those days are gone those days are, <laughs> those gone. Days are gone and also obviously you mentioned uh, national uh, landlords association yes. uh, and all these organization uh, on top of that there are lots of uh, training providers yes. I mean, obviously you you provide you know you have helped lot, you know, thousands of uh, your students over the years and there's lots of property investor meetings yes. uh, uh, networks uh, landlords, property investors, if they're serious about their investment, they can get involved with those as well, can't they? Yeah, I mean, when I started, there were maybe a handful of networking events around the country where you go along and meet other people interested in property. Yeah. You'd hear a speaker maybe talk about a particular subject. Now there's lots of more around the country. As I said, I've been running networking events for more than 10 years in the property space, and we hold them regularly in Birmingham uh, as well. And it's a great way to go along and meet other people that are in the same business as you. You know, in our when we look at the wider community, the more successful communities, you know, there are there are spaces there for accountants that get together, learn from each other. You know, whether it's solicitors or whether it's someone in the fast food industry, but we tend not to do that in our community. We keep it close to ourselves. Yeah. But actually, in this environment, we can learn from each other. So at a networking event, you'll meet other people, talk to them, learn from each other, learn from the uh, speaker sharing knowledge maybe that day. And yes, we do training uh, on investing in property and how to make money from property. And there's lots of uh, events and organizations around the country you can benefit from and learn from. And yeah. online, of course, there's so much information available. O available now. online. And uh, about your um, uh, networking meeting that you hold in Birmingham, do you have plan to expand that any, in any other towns? Or uh, no, I'm a little bit lazy like that. I say, say uh, if you want to do a networking event with me, you have to come to Birmingham. Um, personally, I, personally, I think it's a great city. Yeah, you have. And I that's kind of how we met so in the early days yeah, as well. Definitely. Because, you know, for example, someone in your uh, trade, you can meet clients, you can meet uh, other people that may be interested in investing. There's, I'm a big, big fan of bringing people together and learning from each other because when I started, that's how I learned. I learned from other people. And so I think there's a lot of benefit from there, not only for me as a host running these events, yeah. but for people attending uh, uh, as well. So I, I, I'm a big fan of connecting okay. and learning from each other. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Saj. Uh, Shweb, I've got a quick question for you. Mm -hmm. Islamic finance uh, in the investment uh, properties, are there investment pro uh, Islamic mortgages available for um, buy-to-let mortgages? 
yes. titular properties. Uh, so we do have Islamic lenders that will lend to you, even first-time buyers or first-time landlords that's that good. will provide you a mortgage on whether that's a commercial property or a buy-to-let. So there is a scope there for people that are more, they don't want to go down the conventional route and do want the Islamic finance. Mm -hmm. If they get in contact, we do have lenders for that. Fantastic. And for those uh, first time, for, for example, landlords, uh, is this deposit uh, requirement more or less or yeah. how does that work? Uh, so for first time landlords, first time buyers actually 25% deposit even on the Islamic mortgage, mm -hmm. which helps a lot of people that want to come into investing in property but don't want to use the conventional lenders, yeah. they can get Islamic mortgage as well. Brilliant. So, Doshok Apnara Jai Monshun Te Parlen, Jai Buy to Let Property, Ba Property Te Invest Kora Jonno, Islamic Mortgage Kintu Available Aache. So, Chaili Apnara Judi Conventional Mortgage Judi Na Jete Chan, Apnara Islamic Mortgage Nite Parlen, Niya Property Te Invest Kora Te Parlen. Amra Islamic Mortgage Ba Islamic Finance Shompor Ke Ekta Puru Program Korbo Inshallah, Shamnar Din Gullo Te, So, Ama Desha Te Thak Ben. Saj, so, uh, we were talking about just Islamic finance and obviously conventional mortgages as well. Um, are there any specific financing strategies or funding sources you find particularly effective for property investment in the UK? Yes, just before I answer that, I just want yeah. to add something that we were just talking about now, sure. Islamic finance. Sometimes when I'm speaking to people and they say, I'm looking at Islamic finance, but it's more expensive, you know, NatWest is a bit cheaper, yeah. I'm going to go there or whichever it yeah. lender it might be. And I would say no. If you are trying to invest in the way where you want to clean, keep your product in a Sharia compliant way, and that's what you want to do, then don't look at the rates. Look at is that allowing you and facilitating you to be able to do? Because exactly, you're basing yeah. then on values, not just return on numbers. Yeah. So I think you know sometimes you look at these products and think, oh, they're a bit more expensive, but they're not priced in the same way. They're structured completely differently. Yeah. But they have to be able to compare. So I would say, you know, if those opportunities are available, I would always look at those uh, first. So my personal preference is, and the way I built my business is really by partnering with other people. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned earlier from the caller that uh, mentioned about getting started. You know, if I find a very good deal, which is kind of what we try and focus our time and energy on finding good opportunities, and then we partner with somebody else who's got the money, I'll say, it's a business partnership. You put the Can money in. a quick call, sorry. Sure, sure. So, sorry to interrupt. Yes, caller. Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum. Salaam. Yeah, me. Yeah, 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 question <laughs> Afne council or loge kita tharare abar razi khora ita farbani afnar gosi best booki na property. Yeah. Afne zudi council re question ta khoroin. Aasha khori tharare ekta sho dutor di ba afnar. Normally afne zudi ekbar na farroin. Aro bar tharare gosi zain zudi property kin bar khota khoya tharare allow khoroin ita. Tika se se afne council or loge zudi matun zudi. E bishoy tharare afnar help korta farba ba tharare afnar ekta answer ita farba. Zare foisha diso in afne to. তানরে তো কায়া বার করিয়া ইজিকাও খা গিয়া যে মানে তাইন কিতা বিষয় তাইন ফশানি লাগি মর্গেজ করে দিলা না এটা প্রবলেম হইছে গিয়া আপনার বাই না এই প্রবলেম খালি বাই আমরা কমিউনিটি তো অনেকে চেক করেন না যে 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 ব্রোকার অর যে আপনার ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড চেক করি আপনি পয়সা দিতা পয়সা দিবার আগে তান লগে কন্ট্রাক্টর সাইন করবার আগে আপনি চেক করতা তান ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড তান লেজিট কিনা তান ইন অথরাইজড কিনা because it is a very easy file. You can register the FCA, the Financial Conduct Authority, and the website. It is a very easy file. So, I will check the financial service that is regulated by authorized now. It is a very easy file. 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 So, thank you, caller. You can see the show that you can see. Uh, Inshallah, after uh, you, uh, you know, I'm wrapped in the morning. So I had so many questions to you, but I, 
Uh, I, I guess, uh, you know, what advice would you give to a, a new entrant into the property market, you know, that, that come, wants to come into the property investment? Yeah. I think going back to what I was saying earlier on, look, there's only three ways to make money. You're either making income each month, uh, you're making chunks of cash by developing and selling property, or you're building something for the future. Firstly, make a decision which one of those three routes you are trying to follow. What is yeah. it trying to And we're talking about investment property rather than buying a home. Then think about, okay, how can I get started? And some of that is fear. What is fear? Fear is we don't know what's going to happen. And the reality is nobody knows what's going to happen. Yeah. You know, we have plans, but you know, that's one that is the best of planners. But we've got to have the intention of, that I've got to try and do something. It's not we're going to sit back and it's just going to happen. We have to make a, a plan. So build the knowledge and understanding of how something works. There's lots of information available. Yeah. You know, we can help. Lots of other people can help as well. And then it's about taking that information and doing something with it. Yeah. So for example, you know, if I want to, uh, if I want to build my six pack and I read the book cover to cover, <laughs> and I say, I've read the book. Yeah. Nothing's happened. But I've got to do something with it, not just read the information. So we'll apply the information in order to get the uh, result we want. And yes. inshallah it will happen if we, uh, if we apply ourselves. That's right. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, uh, Saj. Uh, we have come right to the end of the uh, of the show. Joab, do you have any last uh, remarks, last point to make? I think for people, education is very important. People need to like learn about the property market, finances, and a lot of people they go to school, they go to college, and they think that's all they've learned. And as Brother Saj mentioned earlier, they take advice from their friends at the local GP, or they'll take advice from restaurateurs. But if you want to learn about properties, the best we go to the property experts. That's fine. Thank you so much, uh, Shweb uh, and uh, Saj, for your times. Mm -hmm. uh, really appreciate that. Doshok, jero kom shon chilen. Prathom ei janiye rakhi je ei je unushane je tokto gulo daya hoyse, che gulo shudhu tokto. Ek gulo ke advice esha bini ben. Na apna jara call kore chen oshon koshon ko dhono bad. Jara message party esha na, shab gulo message porte pari ni. But kotha dichi. অনুষ্ঠানের পরে হলো সবগুলো প্রশ্নেরই আমরা উত্তর আমরা দেব আমাদের এই অনুষ্ঠান আপনাদের জন্যই আপনারা আপনাদের পার্টিসিপেশন আমাদেরকে আরো উৎসাহিত করে আমাদেরকে অনুপ্রাণিত করে ধন্যবাদ জানাচ্ছি আশা করি আমাদের সাথে থাকবেন অনুষ্ঠান দেখবেন শুভরাত্রি আল্লাহ হাফেজ